speak with someone here when we are praying. Uh, can you just stand up, your sister? The Lord wants to fight for you. Amen. There's a sickness Amen. that God wants to heal in you. Amen. Come on, you demon of sickness. Where is the husband here? Where is the husband? Come out! You sickness. Come on, you demon of sickness. Ouch! Ouch! Come on! Come on! Come on! Ouch! 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 Leave them! Leave them! Leave this family, you demon! They want to be your sons. Huh? Uh, they want to be your sons. They want to be my son. Huh? You have blessed them. Their ministry is growing. Their ministry is growing. They want them to flourish financially. So why, why do you make this lady sick now? Because you are always with them. Huh? You are always with them in their prayers. Yesterday they prayed. You were with them in their prayers. They prayed the whole day for you. So you are the one who's causing that? They're praying for you. That must are you the one who's causing that? Yes. Yes. Uh, uh? Yes, yes. You, you are the one I am the one who's causing them. You are the yes. One. They are not going anywhere. Uh? They are not going anywhere. Mm, so no, 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 no. So. I can't hear you. No, no, no. No, no. Maka and Lisa. Don't believe uh, those have, people. They have blessed mm. them. So you they know see. that from you, they will be billionaires. They will have great, you'll do great works through them. So can you see, this is a husband and a wife. They are manifesting all of them. You can see that this demon must leave them. So who are you who's doing this? Huh? Uh, who are you? Speak out. Uh, sent by the devil to destroy. you sent by the devil. To destroy their works because of... God has entrusted you to bless them. The Lord told them that to come to you today, they are from far Christiana Northwest. God knew that when they come to you, you'll bless them. So, you can hear so what are you doing to the sister there? Speak up. Huh? I want to destroy this woman. This is a dangerous woman. I want to destroy her. I want to destroy this woman. She's going to do wonders. She's going to do wonders. I don't want this woman to manifest. I don't want this woman to In Jesus' name. Come on, you spirit of Satan. Go away from me. In Jesus' mighty name. The Lord is fighting for them. Amen. Rise up. You are free. Rise up. Rise up. Lift, lift them. Brother, where do you come from? From Christiana, Northwest. From, you are coming here for the first time or you were here before? The first time when I was here, Apostle, it was the time you said to me, we must... You called us for the structure at the time you wanted to build the structure. Yes. And you said, God, choose the people who will bring the Holy Spirit brought us and we gave them money. After that, we had no instrument, we had nothing. From after giving the money, God opened a door for the ministry. People came, gave us structures. One man bought instrument. Things happened and you appeared in the one day I was preaching the church and you appeared behind me. Then you laid your hand upon me. And uh, from that moment, I told my wife that now we know where we have to go and bow because we needed to in our lives for almost three years we needed to. We didn't, we didn't have any chance to come. And we didn't know how are we going to meet with you. But I wanted time to come to visit, but I didn't know how. The Lord is with you. Amen. He's, he's fighting for you. Amen. He's really fighting for you. Can you see? Can you see what happened? They came. They heard me talking about the structure. They gave. And God opened doors for them. Go open doors for them. 
So she's healed. You are healed. Oh, the man of God Jesus. was saying to me, there's a sickness that he see in my life. Then he delivered me. I was having a wound in my breast. Now the pain is gone. I am totally free. I thank God that used the man of God to heal my life. Amen. Yes, it is true because um, after we, first time when we came here, God spoke to us that you must come and give for the ministry. Then after he gave, God opened doors for us. So even yesterday we were praying for God. He told us we must come. And then it, the prophecy was true. When the man of God he first he started with us to pray for, that's what I said to Lord. Lord, if you have called us to come here, you will first start with us. And God he did it. So the prophecy is true. Anyone who's watching Charis Church, come and receive your deliverance. Because God is working Charis Church is a big God. Come and receive your deliverance because God can deliver every sickness. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you. Be well. I must pray for your wife because amen, the devil amen. is attacking your wife amen, amen, and it's troubling you. It's true. It's true, huh? man of God. It's true, man and of God. You are, you are trying to pray, but your wife, everything is down in her. It's true, man of and God. And she's not well. Yeah. Uh, she started to be sick, and this is affecting everything you are doing. It's true, man of God. Huh? It's true, man of God. Uh, you've done well to come here. Go and heal your wife. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah, because it's like you are pulling alone. It's true, man. It's of not God. true. It's true, man of God. In whatever you are doing, it's like you are pulling alone. It's true, man of God. Come on, you demon! Lift him up. Out! Come on. What are you doing to him? Huh? Why are you blocking him here? Come on. Leave him, leave him. You are healed. Amen. Where's your father? Over there. You are worrying about this boy. It's true, man of God. Huh? It's true. Your heart is tired now. So I'll pray for him. He's going to be something that you need him to be. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. This man has been trying everything to channel this boy. There's a stubborn spirit here on your side. Jesus. So you want your God to use your son. Please, man of God. That's what you are praying yes, for. Yes, huh? yes, yes, yes. It will happen. Oh, thank you, Jesus. What do you want here? Are you together with them? That's, that's my daughter. The daughter? Yes, man of God. To, she said she wanted to be filled with the Holy Ghost. She said she wanted to be filled with the Holy Ghost. So, can you see? Put a mic in her mouth. She said she wanted to be filled with the Holy Ghost. Your father is praying for it has happened today. Uh, the man of God state said, uh, "I'm my, my wife and myself is w working in different directions. Uh, it is true in in the house, and then he also confirmed that my wife is ill, uh, and that they need to pray for for, for us. Uh, and I thank God for for revealing it and." And visiting us as a family. Um, like I said, in the house, spiritually, uh, physically, it was a real challenge. 
uh, and I thank God because it's something I've been praying about because we're trusting the Lord for, for breakthrough in ministry and uh, if, if we are divided, we'll never get there. And so God has just answered our prayers. Um, it is amazing. I don't know the man of God. I've been watching Charis TV, uh, via YouTube and TV and it's been blessing me for the past six months and I've decided to get in the car with my family to visit Charis uh, and I thank God that we came and uh, by, by God's Spirit, He located me and I thank God for that. The word is truth, it is preached here, and the Spirit of God is moving. Uh, even the worship and the, and the praise earlier was awesome. It was an awesome experience. And the, and the song that the men of God asked us to repeat, there was such a great presence of God. God is moving in this place and He's doing signs, wonders and miracles, and I thank God for it. This prayer you are praying for, for God to use you, it's happening now. Amen. Uh, because sometimes you are very much confused. Amen. Uh, you don't know whether you're supposed to be in the ministry or doing business. Amen. Uh, uh, now I want to pray for you, for God to do it for you. I receive. Uh? I receive. Where is your wife? Is a case at end. Is that? We must pray also for your wife. Eh? Amen. Because this marriage is not doing well. That's true. Uh -huh. It's true. Come on, spirit of Satan. Ouch! 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 You are free. Uh, my name is Sandy Lemasbogo. I'm coming from KZN. Uh, he said he sees that I've got a desire in my heart that God wants to use me, of which it's very true. Uh, I've got meeting a lot of men of God that had prophesied that I have a calling. So what the man of God has said, it's very true. Uh, all I can say, when you come here at Charis, Mini, mm, Charis Mission Nari Church, uh, expect God for a change in your life. Once you came here, you will see the change in Jesus' name. Where is your brother? Your brother? Your brother? I have, I have three brothers. The other one is around here in Clayville. I can't hear you. you people, this, I can't hear. I have three brothers. The other one who comes after me is right here in Clayville. I can't hear. The, the one who comes after me, he stays here in Clayville, Oliphant's Fonte. And the other one, he is working in Limpopo, but there's one that, who is in Pretoria. Is the what? This what the last born from home is in Pretoria. I don't know whether he's Harangua or Soshanguve. That's why I say, where is he? I don't know exactly because where. Because I see you people here, you are talking about him. It's like the family is worrying. Very, very true. I was even talking to my wife that actually I, I need to, to see this boy. I want to pray for you. Uh, that's the only one that is a problematic, this person. Very true, very and, true. And uh, also is worrying all of you. It's like all of other people here, you are successful, but him is facing tough times. It's, it's very, very true. We were huh? talking about him that I don't even know if he happens to die, if anything happens to him, I don't know what's going to happen. By praying for you, it's like to save him to follow God. And yes, because... also you've got wrong friends. Amen. Wrong friends because I see him with people who are drinking. That's very, very true. Earlier this huh? year, I even called him and said, I want you to get your time. Come to me. I want to talk to you. And Please, since then, let's pray that the devil must not kill him. Let me pray for you. You will find him. You are the one to, to guide him. Yes. You are the one to guide him. I'm seeing another one who's very, very rich. One of your brother who's very richer than you. Yes, yes. Huh? He, he's the one that, that was we staying in Clayville. I want to tell you that you people here, you are the one who can capture him. But you, I'm hearing that you are going to go up than all. You are Amen. going to go up all. Amen. So you can guide this person now for Amen. the salvation of, of his soul. God bless you. Uh, Daddy was asking me where my brother is. So I have three brothers. So when I was talking, he was referring to the last born. And that is the one that happens to be the one that he indicated that he has got very, very bad friends. And yeah, it's been long, even when he was still growing up, when our mother was still alive, he always had been having a problem of friends, and which is even today, is still a problem. So, Daddy was talking about that, and as he was, because as he was asking, 
now where is he? The reality is, personally, I don't even know the address where he stays. And uh, because I was talking to my wife, even some few days back, we were just very concerned, where is my brother? What is happening with him? As I've already spoken to him, even earlier this year, to say, I want to, to talk to you. So that he was indicating, yes, I'm the one actually that can be able to help him. So I can confirm that, that yes, Daddy is really, really, God is really, really confirming that I must carry on and do what I've been thinking of doing, talking to him so that his life can come right. Yeah. It has affected us a, a lot, especially when he was still growing up some few years back because he has been, he has been, to, he has been to, arrested about twice. And that has been affecting us because you know when some, a family member has been arrested, that is not a good thing, especially if you are, you are a family. So that has always affected us. Even right now, it's still affecting us. That is why I was talking about him because, you know, as they say, blood is thicker than water. I will say, come to Charis, and the God is able to see what we as people cannot see. Amen. Where were you working before? Uh, at All Road. Huh? I was working at All Road. You were doing what? I was working at All Road. And what happened? They fired me. They fire you? Yes. Don't worry. God wants to fight for you. Thank you, Lord. Because now you are struggling a lot. Yes. Even when you say you don't have money, nobody believes you. Yes. Eh? That's very true. You know, you're about to give a testimony that will shame even your friends. Amen. That's because right. you, you, you don't believe in this thing of asking money from people. That's very true. Eh? That's very true. It, it really bothers you a lot. Yes. I want to pray for you, but you love helping people. Yes. Sir. Eh? Yes. That's why God wants to fight for you. This year is your year. This year is your year. Amen. I receive it. Thank you, Jesus. Can you confirm what I'm telling you? That's very true. Sir. Eh? It's very true. Because um, even, even this morning, I was telling my brother here. Like, you were telling him? Yeah, I was telling him that uh, I don't know. God maybe is testing me. Uh, like so many times, there are people who come to me asking for help. Even though I have nothing, I find myself helping them. I want to promise you, no one will be able to help you again. God wants to help you. Amen. Amen. And you will help many. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Where is your wife, sir? You please, you people need to bring unity in your marriage. You hear me? Yes. Uh, I'm not talking about the unity of ways. I'm talking about plans. Another one must have, not have this plan. Another one have this plan. Yes, Amen. You, you, must, you must plan together. You write these plans together. It will come to pass. Yes, Dad. You understand? Yes, Dad. You must not do things alone. Yes, Dad. You hear me? I'm yes, referring to you. Yes, Dad. Huh? Yes, Dad. You don't just get money. You do one, two, three. It's like you are suffocating this woman. Amen. It's not true. It's true. Huh? It's true. Even now, this woman is like she's no longer trusting you on where you are taking money. Yes, did. Huh? Yes, did. She told you. Yeah, she told me. She said what? She said uh, she she don't know uh, uh, how I spend my money. How do you spend your money? Uh, basically. Did you I... ever explain to her? Yes, I did. And then you say what? Uh, I I financially constrained, did he? Huh? I am financially constrained. Look Whatever. At, look at a man must not buy grocery without his wife. Okay. It's very bad. You don't buy grocery without your wife. You can go and push your trolley when she's there. She know what to cook. Otherwise, you are going to have constipation. Okay. Then. So I'm I'm just saying this because you are you are doing a lot with money without telling her. It's true. Then. Huh? It's true. It's true. God loves you. You are free. Come. Are you not a drunkard? Are you not a drunkard? I used to drink. When did you stop? Uh, it was. It was May. Eh? May. Uh, it was May. Uh, April. Around April. I can't hear. Around April. I'm not seeing you stopping. You must be careful of your friends. Amen. Uh, because they want to take you back there. Deliver me, bro. Eh? Deliver me. Oh, come on. Demo. Come on. Come 
Oh, you demon. Come on, you demon. Come on. In fact, if your life was not very tough now, you could not come to church. Amen. Now you are coming to church because now everything is working against you. So you even know that you want deliverer and God has given you. Deliver, thank so, you. So when they call you, when you get money, don't even go to them. You are free. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Come on. The man of God told me that uh, he asked me a question, say, are you a drinker? Are you a drinker? I said, no. He said, yes, I used to drink, but he said, uh, did you quit drinking? And then I said to him, uh, I quit right around April, and that was, it was true. Uh, and then say, uh, I have to be careful of the friends that I'm, I'm with. What about the friends that my friends, all my friends are drinking. I want to encourage them that they must come to, uh, to this church and meet the God of, uh, of Apostle. Uh, I received the deliverance today, and I believe that my life will never be the same again. And I'm willing to serve the Lord with all my heart. Amen. Come on. You are free. They won't kill you, these people. They won't kill you. They will never kill you. Because they want to kill you. Let me Come on. Why do you want to kill you? Huh? Why do you want to kill him? Speak up. Lift up. Hey. Do you want to kill him? Uh, yes. Huh? Yes. Why you want yes. to kill him? I want to finish them off. Huh? Why you kill his wife? Ah, uh, yes, I did. Why you kill his wife? Uh, huh? Uh, Why you kill his wife? Uh, Come on, you and I. I said, Why you kill his wife? I can't hear you. Uh, no. Why you kill his wife? Come on. Why you kill his wife? Let me kill you. You have got fear of death. Yes, I do. And you feel like people will kill you. Eh? Yes. After they've killed your wife, they will never kill you. Go will protect you. Thank you, In Jesus. Jesus' name. Listen. These visions you are seeing, what you can do, I'm advising you. Are you hearing me? Amen, man of God. All right. As you are writing them down, yes, man wake up, pray, pray, pray concerning this. Amen, man of God. Uh, because many of your visions are meaningful, but others don't have meaning. Amen. Thank you, man. Let me say it again. What is that, brother? Many of these visions you are seeing. Yes, man of God. Because you are always when you sleep, you see a vision. When you sleep, you see a vision. Eh? Yes, So now, write them down. Yes, Very man. soon, you will see them when you are sitting. Amen. Thank you, man of God. So now, but you must pray concerning that. Don't conclude. Don't conclude. Thank you, man of God. Are you having a ministry? Yes. Where? At Chiramba. In Venda? Yes. We must pray for that ministry. Amen. Do you understand? Amen. To, the ministry must have a direction. Amen. Because it's doing like this. It grows, becomes small, just like that. Exactly. Huh? It's what is happening. It's what is happening. Yes. And this is really suffocating you now. Exactly. 
because these people that are there, they can't support you. Exactly. You are trying to do everything by yourself. I'm telling you, you are going to have a breakthrough from Praise. today. Praise the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. God, God wants to use you. Amen. And he will use you to extend that even those who left you will come back to you. Praise the Lord. Because you have been worrying too much. Yes. Huh? I was worrying very much. 2000, 2013, I nearly quit from the you nearly ministry. quit? Yes. 2018 is now. 2013. And 13. 13, yes. Go on to raise you. Praise the Lord. In the ministries like that, when, you know, sometimes when God demands to speak with you, he makes things not to move your way. Thank you, Lord. There are times where God just leaves you so that you seek him. Remember the message of today. Where you are is by the direction of God. Exactly. But he will open a exactly. way for you. Amen. He's going to open a way for you. Amen. These Egyptians, you will never see them again. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Can you all...